Well, this day holds special meaning to Texas Congressman Michael McCall. His dad, James, you see him right there, serves as a bombardier flying 32 missions over France and Germany in World War II. Congressman Michael McCall joins us now from Normandy. Oh, what a handsome man and a man of service, a hero for all of us. And tell us about your dad and some of the stories he shared with you. Well, he is better looking than I am, I'll tell you that. Uh, Y'all look a lot he's, alike. He's my person. We, we, I think so. Uh, my personal hero, we had so many heroes I saw today, the, the living veterans of World War II. Behind me are the 10,000 that were buried, uh, that died on D-Day. My dad, you know, the, the whole Operation Land uh, uh, Overlord started uh, uh, with the air campaign. And my father was part of that. He was a bombardier on a B-17. Um, it was, uh, you know, one out of every three B-17 operators got shot down in the skies. In yeah. fact, the Army Air Corps lost more servicemen than all services combined. Really? Congressman, one of the things about the greatest generation uh, is the fact that uh, you, you were just talking a little bit about the stories your dad would tell. For the most part, that generation did not brag about their service. It, it was hard to get those yeah. stories out of them, but through the course of your life, I'm sure you heard a lot of them. I, it's a common thread throughout this generation. I find it very interesting. My father would not talk about it uh, a very, uh, very, uh, very few times would he even talk about it. Uh, he did say he was on the largest bombing mission in U.S. history, and in mm -hmm. fact, his squadron was part of uh, Operation Overlord, which is the D-Day uh, air campaign. But it's, it's interesting the humility that they mm -hmm. had, uh, quite frankly, the sense of humor. Uh, they were just a different breed. They were born in the Great Depression, tempered by one of the greatest wars against the greatest evil really known to mankind. And I would argue that their air campaign was what would be considered today the original shock and awe campaign with thousands of planes dropping thousands of tons of bombs. Congressman, tell us about your dad's life after he came home. Well, he served in Korea and uh, he uh, did radar uh, technology, which was kind of cutting edge, you know, at that time. And after he served in two wars, he uh, decided it was time to come home. Uh, to Texas and, and live with his family. And um, uh, he was just a great man. And he really symbolized you know, my personal hero, but they're all out of that same generation, the greatest generation, uh, handing down a better America to my generation. And so I try to tell my kids, and I think it's important that the children of today know what this generation did. Commemorating them today, I think we have to, to continue uh, the story, uh, handing it down generation to generation. The stakes were so high. Uh, the turning point was here at D-Day. You right. look at Omaha Beach, uh, Point de Hoc, Colonel Rudder, te and fighting Texas Aggie, going up the cliff <laughs> to take out the Nazis. Right. And then they, they, had they been stopped, they would never have defeated the Nazis. Uh, uh, Michael, I just want to, uh, excuse me, Congressman, I just want to just this overall point. You don't have to tell anyone who fought or wore the uniform in that day that America is a great country. You don't have to tell them twice. They would say, of course. There's something that's been lost between days like this and days like today. How do we get it back? Well, I, I think there was a sense of, of he, my dad taught me about honor, duty, country, uh, about sacrifice. He inspired me uh, to, serve, uh, to serve the country as he did you know, in World War II. And I think that's, we've lost a little bit of this uh, with the next generation. I think it's important that the textbooks remind them, but that mm -hmm. they come visit to, sites like uh, Omaha Beach sure. and D-Day. And, you know, I went to Auschwitz as well to see the evil that they were fighting. Uh, and it was such a good versus evil conflict. And they won and they defeated gotcha. one of the most uh, evil, evil sources of, uh, uh, in, in mankind in history. Okay. Well, Congressman uh, Michael McCall, I'm sure your father would be proud of you because you're proud of him telling us the story of your dad, James McCall, Jr. Sir, thank you very thank much. You. See you back in Texas. Thanks. Uh, coming up straight ahead on this.